is going on guys? Welcome back to Let's Play Need for Speed Carbon episode. Always have this problem. Every episode without fail. 18, I believe. 17 or 18. Don't don't take my word for it. Look at the damn title. Um I have to go do this race wars down here real quick, I suppose. Because I just took this territory. So we're gonna go do that real quick. Um uh, my last two episodes I recorded, and I have one of them actually uploading right now, and I haven't rendered the other one. I'll probably do it when I go to bed. But, uh, I had been up for so long. Like, hours and hours. And the only sleep I had gotten was less than two hours on my friend's couch last night. I was so fucking tired, and I just wish I wouldn't have recorded those episodes, but what's done is done. That Mustang looked really nice. Regardless. What's done is done now, and it kind of sucks because those weren't my best quality content videos. And, I don't know, I just don't think it's good to do stuff like that. But, um, if you just listen to the last two videos compared to this one, I guarantee you I sound so much more enthusiastic, excited, and whatever else. Oh, my buddy's not in this race. Oof. But yeah, I, uh, I took a nap, I slept for a good eight hours, <laughs> and now I am up, and ready to play some need for speed. i have uh getting halfway through this game now and it doesn't really feel like I'm half it says 40 something percent on the screen but it doesn't feel like there's much more that could really be left unless that last territory up there that the north they won't let us go to is actually not the last one but I, I don't know regardless it's all speculation I've never played this game before so I have no clue um, I've been thinking about games I want to play and I'm either going to play Pokemon Ruby because of the uh, the recent announcement of Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire coming out, I think that'll get good exposure, and I, I like Pokemon games anyway, so I'm either going to play Pokemon Ruby, or I'm going to play Dead Island. Those are the two games I've uh, I've come down to on as my next game, and if you're listening to this and you want to put your input in, uh, be sure to just leave a comment, let me know which one you'd rather me play, and um, if I do get a decent response, if I get a couple people telling me to play one or the other, I will most likely... Um, I will most most likely play that game because I I'll, I'm down to play either one. I don't really care, honestly. Also, these guys are beating me by quite a bit, and I need to catch up. I'm gonna have to go dump some money into this car because I've just noticed that this car isn't exactly cutting it like it used to. And I do have four hundred thousand, so I probably should just go man up, and spend the cash. I think there was like a shortcut right in the middle of there, but I couldn't tell and I didn't want to hit the wall and I have no idea. Notice these races are getting much, much longer. What a dumbass, what are you doing? Smash right into the wall for no reason. Yeah, nitrous! I like that the races are at least harder to win now. It's not like easy mode. This is going to be cool. I don't mind. I thought it was going to give me a cutscene of the flying through the air. What the hell, RX-7? Yep. A little too fast into that wall, huh? Man, oh man. I have to step on it or I'm going to lose be embarrassing. Five seconds down? What the fuck, man? Sorry, I'm focused. Look at me flying through the air. This makes no sense. I did this lap like even faster than my last one, but I'm still suck it. I think it's uh, come down to the fact that their cars are just faster than mine.
I don't like the thing hanging over the track right there. If you saw that, there's like a little thing hanging over the track, and it always makes me feel like it's gonna fall on me, even though I know it's not going to. Is this the shortcut I was thinking of? I'm sure it is. Trying to catch up here. I don't think it's gonna happen though. Well, it's a good way to lose 40 miles an hour quick. All that speed, and the guy is still right on my ass, and I didn't really catch up to these guys at all. I should have hit that shortcut. Doesn't matter, I lost anyway. Son of a bitch. Did I get money for third at least? Nope, sure don't. Alright, um, we're gonna go into the safe house. And we're gonna go to customization. Performance. Optimized performance. Shopping cart. 60 grand. Do we really need all of this? Whatever. Doesn't matter. I don't know why I'm so stingy with my damn money in a video game, but I am. Right, well, let's go back and kick that thing's ass. So that was like four minutes of time. We still have plenty of time to go in this episode. I was actually sitting here bored listening to uh, my favorite podcast, which it doesn't need my shout out considering the goddamn podcast has literally 250,000 concurrent viewers every week. Um, but I've been listening to it since damn near day one. I started in an episode like the 20s, something along those lines. And I, don't know, I really enjoy those, uh, those videos. Regardless, um, it is painkiller already. I was sitting there and I was like, man, you know, I'd actually rather be playing Need for Speed right now. So I just went and started playing Need for Speed. That isn't a knock for painkiller already. I was a four hour show every week, but it's really, I'm enjoying playing this game right now. I have from the start, which is a good thing. <laughs> I've noticed recently when, uh, when I destroyed my old car, I didn't destroy it, but I blew the transmission on my old car, which is such an expensive repair that there's no point in even repairing it. That's not true. I could have gotten a used transition. I didn't want the car anymore. I realized the car is a piece. It has too many damn problems. I just I don't want to deal with it anymore. I just simply want a fucking new car. And I went and did that. And I got a car that I liked much more. However, um, what I was getting at... Oh, jeez. Is, um... I had not messed with this car at all. And just recently, for the last couple of days, I just... Look at this car. It's a really nice car. Um, I've just really been wanting to spend money on my car, make my car look nice and whatever, you know, but I'm trying to resist that urge because I don't have money to be fucking thrown around like that. I wish I could have this RX-7 in real life. I'd be pulling so much ass. Not that I need to since I'm engaged. You know, if my fiance ever watched these videos, I'd probably be in some pretty deep shit, huh? Love you, babe. <laughs> oh, jeez. Well, putting these upgrades into my car was definitely worthwhile, considering I'm destroying these guys now. I said in one of my previous videos I'd interview tomorrow. Um, I meant to say Monday. I've just been so tired and so messed up from not sleeping that... I've just been like so freaking confused on life. Oh, if both of us just blew our entire tank of nitrous. Imagine that was the photo finish right there, holy shit. Why is the game lagging? ass bro come on what the fuck move it what is that shit all over the back of his car i don't understand this car is really fast though the one in first place last race too it's hard to beat i 
It feels like he always has a full fucking tank of nitrous he's using too. His name is Hawk. Hawk, Hawk, Hawk. He's a fast motherfucker. Someone just passed him actually, or is about to. Giotto or whatever. Car's maxed out here at 151 miles an hour, apparently. Taking these turns like a boss, trying to maintain this lead here. I did take that shortcut and I did and it put me way ahead now. Per usual, per last lap I should say. The thing is I'm not really going as much faster as I was before. I'm pretty sure my car could have hit 151 before. Maybe not. Maybe the thing is like get there faster. But regardless. I ween! That was a tough race, believe it or not. Taken down to fucking street sign. Oh yeah, smash enemy, fantastic. Patrol needs to be advised. No patrol needs to be advised, none of that. Alright. Not like I was doing up her. Gotta do this checkpoint race. God, I'm so excited to get through this game because I like we found out we didn't find out in the last episode that I was a cop. Or that I was working with the cops, but it's really fucking obvious. I'm just I don't know, I'm excited. So I figure out the storyline of this game. I feel like it ties that I haven't played Need for Speed Underground 2 in so long, but I feel like the storylines tie together or something. I don't know. I don't know if this is the game that came directly after Need for Speed Underground or what, but I wish they would make another street racing game like this. It's not like street racing doesn't happen in real life anymore, which it definitely does. I live in uh, Florida, and street racing is actually a pretty decently big thing here. We have a face, there's a Facebook page, and for um, for people of uh, Florida here, my area of Florida, it has 20,000 people in it, and it's been on the news, like, not positive light, like, it's negative light, like, hey, illegal street racing happens all the time via this Facebook page, but, yeah, I don't know, I wish they'd make another Need for Speed game like this or something, maybe they just don't think there's a market for it, but if they came out and were like, yeah, Need for Speed Underground 3, I would be all over that, and I feel like a lot of people would too, like, I can't tell you how many people. It's whenever you mention street racing, the first thing that some comes to some people's mind is just Need for Speed Underground. At least in my age group, it was a hell of a game. It's raining. I've never noticed it raining before in the game. That uh, that street sign up there in the, in the video game. I drove by it. Said South Florida. I wonder if this game is supposed to take place in Florida. funny because I was just literally talking about how prevalent street racing still actually is in real life. there for a second. Just lost in my thoughts. Is it? Did I just see fire over there or am I seeing shit? I swear to god I think I just saw fire on the side of the road. I could totally be wrong but whatever. Also I'm so far ahead on this checkpoint. I wish this race wasn't so long. I'm finishing these checkpoints with 50 something seconds left. But... Shortcut I missed it. 
Oh gosh. Poor guys. You just smash into them full speed, completely ruin their lives. Am I in a shortcut? No, I guess not. What am I doing hugging this wall like this? I wish I would have hit that shortcut back there. Ooh, I see the finish line. Even though I still have another checkpoint, it says. I hope everyone's having a great night today. Sorry, it's not a very entertaining commentary because I'm just racing around a track by myself. Um, hope everyone's having a good day, morning, night. I always say great night when I do these commentaries, but uh, it's only because I usually record at night. Ah! Got a video with over 30 views, which was very exciting. Just me peeing on my graphics cards. So if you haven't seen that one, you should go check that one out. I don't know many other people that pee on their graphics cards, but I fucking did it. And did it. And let's go into another race, and then, actually, how many races have we done? Oh, I don't know. We'll call this an episode. That's what we'll do. Uh, thank you so much for joining me, Need for Speed episode 18. I appreciate your viewership. As always, leave a subscribe if uh, if you enjoyed it, so you could see the next video, of course. Um, if you want, leave a comment. I'll be sure to respond to it. I don't think there's been a comment yet that I haven't responded to. You know, I like I like I like the interaction, guys. All right, so you guys have a good night, and thank you so much for watching again. You see you later.